Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Dr. Salva Qureshi and today we are going to discuss the radiographic feature of Paget disease that how does the Paget disease looks like in radiograph or how, how we can say about any patient's radiograph that it is the patient is having the Paget disease. So starting from the radiographic feature we first must know that what is Paget disease or which organ the Paget disease affects as we stated that this is the radiographic appearance of the Paget disease so definitely they are the bone so Paget disease is actually the disease that first caused the osteoporosis and then caused the osteosclerosis of the involved bone and so um, on the basis of this we can say that there are basically two stages of the osteo Paget disease one is osteoporosis and then is osteosclerosis so on the basis of this we can um, on the basis of this, we, if we are going to discuss or study the radiograph, we must know that first of all, there will be osteoporosis state, then there will be in an osteoporosis state of definitely there will be the resorption of the bone, and after this, there will be osteosclerosis space, uh, phase. Then, osteosclerosis phase is actually the patchy osteosclerosis. There is the patchy osteosclerosis in the patchy disease and osteosclerosis stage, and so that. Um, when there is patchy um, osteosclerosis, they will present as ill-defined, irregular radiopaque areas that um, that is the giving the that uh, patchy disease a definite uh, characteristic uh, radiograph that is mostly called as cotton wool appearance, as you will see there. And this is the cotton uh, this is uh, the radiograph of the skull of the normal person there you can see that there is um, um, smoothly and uh, smooth uh, radiolucency and radio opacity there is no much disturb uh, disturbance as you can say this is the parietal bones of the skull they are the parietal bone of the skull this is the occipital bone but there is uh, this you can we can say there is uniform density of this area there is no um, patchy opacity or patchy uh, resolution C etc so we can say this is the in according if you are talking about the patchy disease this is the normal radiographic features of the skull and beside this is the radiographic features of the patchy disease we can see there that this it is it looks like a cotton wool so that's why this is a radiograph is also called as cotton wool appearance having cotton wool appearance we can see that there is um, there are uh, radio lucency somewhere and there much radio opacity which is because there is this is which is because this is the advanced stage we can say that this is the advanced stage of the um, disease because there is much osteosclerosis and uh, the initial stages has gone and now it is an advanced stage there is much osteosclerosis there we can say that uh, this is typical appearance of Paget disease showing the radiographic features like cotton wool appearance going towards the next slide in skull there are also changes radiographically we can see these changes so we are going to discuss the changes in the skull that uh, occurs during Paget disease uh, in skull there is thickening of the outer vault the outer vault and there are also changes in the jaw so there is the loss of lamina dura hypersimentosis um, and ankylosis ankylosis is the um, actually the um, attachment uh, of the tooth with the bone direct attachment that is called is direct I mean, normally there is periodontal ligament but in ankylosis there is no periodontal ligament so we can say there this is the vault of the skull in normal radiograph this is not that much thick but in the pg disease this is as you can see there this is the sagittal section um, there is the radiograph that is much uh, opaque and thick so we this is the classical and clinical feature of the pg disease this is the radiographic vault uh, this is the vault radiograph showing vault and this is also radiograph showing the vault so this was our whole of the lecture in histological changes we will describe in the next lecture. So for that time, thank you so much for listening.